What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this video I want to talk about if we're going to see Battlefield 6 at EA Play Live uh, next Thursday. So EA Play Live is next Thursday uh, night. Going to be actually a really, really exciting event. I really do think that. I, I, you know, EA has made uh, some bad decisions in the past. Obviously, a lot of a lot of developers and publishers have, um, but they really do have a chance next week. That is, it's our replacement E3 event for them. So I'm very much looking forward to it. We're going to be covering uh, anything that happens at EA Play Play Live. Uh, we're, we'll be doing that uh, next week uh, at night as well as also on Friday, Saturday, you know, over the weekend uh, as well. They're going to announce, I think, a lot more than just potential Battlefield 6, but we're going to talk about that in this video and then in other videos. We're going to talk about other things uh, that I do think that they can announce. Really, really quickly, before I get started, I do want to just promote uh, my second channel. I do have a second channel. The link for it will be in the description below. It, it's very much like podcast now. If you guys like these videos, like speculation, discussion, theories, all that kind of stuff, I do that on the second channel channel. There'll be more support, more uh, basic uh, videos for any of these things that are going on there as well. So if there is a Battlefield 6, you can definitely expect videos on that channel for it as well. So Battlefield, obviously, I mean, it's no surprise, right? This is the big gun. This is EA's big thing. Uh, you could maybe have argued that Battlefront has been it for a long time, and obviously what's happened with uh, Battlefront 2, uh, not very good, right? But uh, even in that way, why did Battlefront 2 shut down? Well, it's because the remaining people that were still working on Battlefront 2 have now been moved over fully towards the next Battlefield game. And so what do we know? Let's set the stage here. So the next Battlefield game, I think, is pretty darn certain to be released in the fall of 2021. Now, we know for sure it's not coming out this fall, right? And EA actually had said that, I believe, I think actually this past fall, okay, fall of 2019, and they said, hey, don't expect a Battlefield next year, you know, in the fall of 2020 when the next-gen consoles come, but the year after you know, definitely, like, it's all game. I believe, technically, the official word is it could either be fall of 2021 or early 2022, but I think this is definitely, I mean, look at what they've done with all of the other Battlefield games, right? They always come out uh, in the fall, kind of that co uh, competition with Call of Duty, uh, and then, you know, go from there. So, so we know that, and that is definitely important to know because when you think about EA, you have to think, all right, well, what are they going to do? Are they willing to talk about games that are that far out? And when it comes to EA, when it comes to Ubisoft, when it, even when in a way when it comes to Bethesda, they definitely pick and choose. I think it's pretty important for these developers, for I mean, in this case, they're publishers, right? For these publishers to they have to promote the games that are coming out soon because a lot of them, you know, they, they really do promote the games that come out within a, a very short amount of time. Okay, it's not as important for people like EA for or I said I mean companies right, but there's people that work there for companies like EA, companies like Ubisoft, and go down the line. Even like Warner Bros is a really good example of a company that really they announce their game and releases right afterwards, right? They announce it comes out four, six, maybe eight months. The only example is like Arkham Knight, maybe even like Lego Star Wars, right? Like those games can be a little bit further out, but for the most part, they like to announce the game and then they release. And EA does, uh, you know, sometimes the same thing. Now, what I will say is, again, like Ubisoft, like Bethesda, they pick and choose. They do have some games that they want you to be aware of that exist that are coming out in the future. Sometimes they're kind of like for brownie points, right? Saying uh, Like a good example for Ubisoft is Beyond Good and Evil 2, right? That game is still probably years away, and they announced that game like three, four years ago, saying like, yes, we are starting to work on this game. So why they do that? Well, mainly it was just to kind of say like, all right, well, here's a bunch of games you know are coming out soon and then here's some projects that it's going to probably take like 30 years but like we're working on it. and just so you all know we're working on it and again like it's a big th like it's a big deal that they were working on beyond good and evil 2 right when it comes to battlefield it's a little bit different for ea because it's like okay well this is the massive, right? This is the massive franchise that always sells well, sells below EA's expectations, but that's because they put them so so high. Uh, but they, it always sells extremely, extremely well. This is one of, if not like their big, besides like certain sports games that make them a lot of money, uh, this is a really, really big deal. So it's a game that you have to imagine they would want to at least let people know. Because again, you're on, you're on the internet, right? Because you're watching this video. Not everybody is though, okay? Not everybody knows that EA has basically said like, like, okay, expect it next year, not this year. Not everybody knows that. So, you know, when you have this big kind of event, which, again, it's it's like E3. It's a little bit different, obviously, right, because E3 was canceled. But this is your time to go all in and to say, okay, 
here's the relatively soon future of EA, and here's the later. Like, here's what you can expect later on for EA. We even had PlayStation's official magazine, the, the UK magazine, when they had that PlayStation 5 thing where they announced uh, those 38 games coming to PS5, and they had expected releases of them. They even had games like Sims 5 on there, which has been said by EA, like, yeah, you can expect more games, but, you know, they have officially, like, put it out there, and they even say uh, that magazine expects it to come out within, like, a year of the console coming out. I believe uh, Battlefield 6 is also on that list, too. So you definitely have things picking up for these games. I think in the case of a Battlefield 6, I think it's likely we see it in some form. Am I saying gameplay? No. I actually really don't think we're going to see gameplay. I, pro I really don't even think we're going to see a trailer. What I have said in the past, because I made a video talking about uh, what I think we'll see Star Wars related from it, remember in the past, and they have done this mainly for Star Wars, but you know how they have like the, the, the short montage videos of like the office building of like the people making these Star Wars games, and they have the different like developers that are working on it and they you know some of them are talking and there's like music in the background all stuff like that I feel like that is something that you could do with a battlefield that you show inside dice you have some of the the director some of the lead you know lead whatever uh, that you want to have uh, talk about this game you know what I mean short three four minute thing you don't really show much maybe you show like the logo of what it's called but you don't really show any kind of gameplay maybe you don't even show a trailer maybe a teaser you know what I mean I really do think it's something uh, that they will do that they should do. Again, they're going to pick some of these games that even though Battlefield is farther out, I do still think it's kind of important that you just put people, basically have them looking in the right direction and say, hey, this isn't coming out now, but I mean, on the and you could even, and again, with these developers, you could even have them be talking about next gen because the game obviously coming out, you know, in the fall of 2021 at the soonest, that's one full year into next gen. So imagine what uh, they could take advantage of basically of the next gen consoles, right? All those kind of like talking points the things that like sound nice, those are all things I think they could very, very well uh, say in this montage clip. But I don't think Again, I don't think it's going to be gameplay. I don't think uh, they're going to show like a multiplayer match going on. But I do think maybe title, maybe like what it's actually, you know, whether it's called Battlefield 6 or whether, you know, whatever the numbering is or like a subtitle to it. I think we could get that. Um, but besides that, I think at least uh, confirmation in the show, however they do it, because we also don't necessarily know how they're going to do it. Like, is there going to be a host? Are they going to go to these different studios or have like some sort of, like, is it going to be like inside Xbox? You know what I mean? We don't necessarily, it's going to be really fun because it's really the first one besides these inside xboxes it's the first one uh, of these companies that are doing it ubisoft's doing it next month so it should be really really fun to see how they do it see which games uh they're going to pick and again like they do have other games right they have they could uh you know there's mass effect remaster there's a lot of different things do they go into the the area of like talking about like a dragon age like there are definitely things they can get into some of them again are much much further along than others and actually none of the ones that I mentioned. I mean, Mass Effect is probably pretty close if it's real, but there are some games that are very far along. There are some games that are not far along, and I, I think that you have to definitely pick and choose those games that are further out because you can't have you can't have like 30 games you talk about uh, and, and because you're going to divide people's interests, right? We know the sports games. We know those are coming out relatively soon. You know, what's going to be the fall stuff? What, what are these hidden remasters or remakes, you know, whatever they're working on? Things like that. Those are the things uh, that obviously they're going to put a lot of effort into. Those are the things that we'll probably see the most gameplay from, but at the same time, I think teasers are pretty important. Maybe a Jedi Fallen Order 2, maybe a Battlefield 6, but I think I think we will see something Battlefield 6 related at this EA Play. So guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think is going to be there? Again, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to make videos for other things. So I want to talk about Sims. I want to talk about uh, maybe like a Mass Effect remaster, stuff like that, a Dragon Age. So there's definitely things, uh, other videos I do want to make. We have another like week or so that I can talk about them. So expect more videos like this in the coming days. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed and have that bell icon turned on so you know when all the videos go up. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I truly appreciate it and I hope to see you all in the next video.